You're listening to Safety FM Mini. Yeah. This episode of the broadcast and the podcast is brought to you by Safety Focus Moments. They're consultants that want to help you get the safety culture you've been looking for. For more information, go to safetyfocusmoment.com. Welcome to Safety FM Mini number 30. Here's an odd conversation for you. Are you marginalized as an employee because you do safety work inside of your organization? Let's have that conversation here today on Safety FM Mini number 30. You are listening to a renowned safety expert, Dr. Jay Allen, on Safety FM. Changing safety cultures, one broadcast and one podcast at a time. Join the fun on social media and find us on Facebook at Safety FM. Well, I have to tell you, the intro to that sounded way too serious. Before we get into the serious topic of being marginalized, for doing safety inside of an organization. Let's just have a quick conversation. As you are aware, this week we actually did the raffle for the people who have actually downloaded the Safety FM app. So five lucky people were able to win Todd Conklin's new book, The Five Principles of Human Performance, a contemporary update of the building blocks of human performance for the new view of safety. So hopefully you enjoyed the little contest. We have some news coming up next week, but we'll discuss that as we get back into the long version on Tuesday. Let's talk about this important topic that was mentioned at the very beginning of the episode. So you might be sitting there going, hmm, what does exactly mean by marginalizing? So marginalizing inside of an organization goes something like this. To put someone in a powerless or unimportant position within a workplace or a group. Now, sometimes people get very confused on what can this mean. Let me kind of give you the most benign form of this. An employee who is marginalized can be a result of poor management. Sometimes a manager mistakes a quiet employee for an employee who is lacking initiative. As a result, the employee isn't engaged by management or encouraged to advance within the company. While this type of treatment may be unfair, even wrong. Keep in mind that most of the times when an employee is being marginalized, the management or the company is treating the employee as they're invisible, as if they weren't there or if their skills or talents were unwelcome or deemed unnecessary. The funny part is that some organizations the higher academic achievement that you have, depending on how the company is ran, might look at you and go, what you're bringing to the table doesn't bring value because it's a theory, it's a philosophy. Don't let those things underestimate your achievements. So the question always becomes, how does your team or coworker know that they're important to the organization? How do they know that they're important? Did someone tell them? The problem is, is if you're feeling marginalized inside of your organization, how do you handle the situation? Do you go to your human resources department? Because if you do, you have to keep in mind that human resources is there to protect the company. That is the main focus of the human resources department. And I know sometimes this conversation can become one of those awkward conversations where people are like, oh, do I look into outside counsel? Just keep in mind that all issues related to marginalization does not mean that it's unlawful. There are certain categories that it falls under that could make it unlawful. But that's something that would be deemed by an outside counsel. And I'm not saying, hey, go out there and start suing organizations on where you work. But verify if you're being marginalized and understand that, yes, you might be in a different niche or in a different level of what you're doing inside of an organization. But at the same time, there's an importance to the work of safety that you're doing inside of that organization. A lot of times what occurs is people don't understand what a safety professional does inside of an organization. They have these false expectations that things will be added inside of your company in regards of new safety programs on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, not understanding that a lot of safety stuff is incorporating items and maintaining what you have. Anyways, are you being marginalized? Think about that. You need to give consideration on if you're being marginalized or not inside of your organization. Anyways, that has been Safety FM Mini number 30. We'd love to interact with you. Come to our website at safetyfm.com, our Facebook site, or even come to our LinkedIn. And let's continue that conversation. I have been your safety manager and host, Jay Allen. And until next time, be safe. 
The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and its guest and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the company. Examples of analysis discussed within this podcast are only examples. They should not be utilized in the real world as the only solution available as they are based only on very limited and dated open source information. Assumptions made within this analysis are not reflective of the position of the company. No part of this podcast may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, mechanical, electronic, recording, or otherwise, without prior written permission of the creator of the podcast, Jay Allen. Safety FM.